morning and assalamu alaikum to my respected teacher and my fellow classmates uh, this is mahin i am today's convener i would like to welcome you all of you to our today's csc 103 class um, okay uh, now i would like to call our today's uh, reporter rezwana tasnim to summarize our previous class. Rezwana Tasnim, please. Thank you, Mahin. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Good morning to all. This is Naomi, today's reporter. Now I am going to summarize the previous class briefly. Last class, at first, we discussed about the basic parts of the computer with fine definition, with the computer case, monitor, keyboard, mouse, and power cords. We learned about the front and back of computer case, different type of USB ports, power button, expansions, to expansion slots, etc. Then we learned about the characteristics of peripherals such as printers, headphones, speakers, scanners, microphones, web cameras, joystick, digital cameras, mobile phone, MP3 player, touch computers, and other devices. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi, for your nice summarization. Now I would like to ask my fellow mates, do you have any question regarding the previous class? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, now I would like to invite our uh, honorable teacher to continue our today's lecture. Okay, so thank you, convener, and thank you, reputier, uh, for your nice session. So now I would like to start our today's class. As I already mentioned, in today's class, basically we are going to learn about what we have in the front side of the computer case, then uh, what we have in the back side of our computer case, and at last, what we have inside in a computer case. So we are going to learn about those ports, about hardware, okay, one by one. So let's start. I'm going to share my uh, slide with you. Let me know whether you can see the slide or not. It might take few seconds to load in your computer. Now I think it's visible on your computer, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, so here you can see the font of computer case. That means what you are going to uh, find, what, what whatever the things you are going to find out in the computer case, you can see a picture here. Okay, all right. So uh, the first thing, what we have, optical disk drive. The first thing you are going to get, that is optical disk drive. That means uh, this is actually your CD drive or this is actually your uh, DVD drive, you can say. I am basically uh, showing it to you here. So this is basically your DVD or CD drive. We call it basically optical disk drive. Okay. So uh, you basically, what you can do here, you can see a switch. Okay. A button you can see here by using this button or by pushing this button uh, you can uh, basically get this plate okay if you press this button then this uh, this uh, display plate will come okay outside then you can put a disc over it and then again if if you press this button okay then it will go inside and there is an optical reader okay by using that optical reader the computer will be understand what you have inside the CD or DVD disc. This. Okay, that is called nothing but optical disc drive. Drive. Sometimes we call it basically CD-ROM, okay, or CD drive. Sometimes we call it DVD ROM or DVD drive. So this is the picture you can see here. So this is the first component we have in the font side of our computer case. Okay. All right. Uh, then uh, the next point. Uh, next thing, let's see what we have after this, after optical disk drive. So next thing we have that is called uh, USB port. Okay. 
USB. This is the full form universal serial bus. Okay, so uh, here you can see two ports. We can connect different types of peripherals like our keyboard, like our mouse, like other things with this universal serial bus port. That is in short, that is called USB, USB port. port. All right, so uh, you will get, I mean, two or in some cases, it basically vary according to your casing model. You might get less or you might get more. So, all uh, right, so you can uh, add or you can connect different peripherals like mouse, keyboard, printer, digital camera, okay, different device you can attach uh, with your computer by using this USB port. Then we have power button. Can you see the power button? Here we have a power button. If you want to boot your computer, boot means start your computer, then you have to press this button. Power button. Okay. Right, power button. And uh, if you press it, okay, press and hold it for a long time, maybe it will shut seconds, down. Right, it will shut down. That means it will turn off your computer. Then audio, audio in and audio out. So you can see here two ports, okay. <coughs> these ports are basically color coded okay you will get different color for them okay you can see the sign as well uh, this is for a speaker and this is for headphone you can see it see it so computers include audio ports on the font of the computer case that allow you to easily connect speakers microphones and headsets without flaming uh, flambling with the back of the computer uh, that means uh, easily you can connect your speaker or your microphone with your computer. Uh, I mean, you need not to go back side of your computer casing. In the back side, again, you're going to get audio port, audio in and audio output. But to I mean, avoid the hassle, you can use the font side one. Okay, that is the thing. All right. Uh, so these are the things mainly we have. Though we have other things as well, like we have restart button, like we have some LED light, okay, uh, or you will get some other uh, space to install other uh, computer devices like your floppy disk, okay, like some other, I mean, if you have, if you want to install number of uh, CD or DVD room, you have slot for that, okay. So now let me show you. Uh, a real example. I'm going to show you my casing with you. So you can find out two ID of mine in the participant list. So from another uh, ID, I'm going to uh, start my video so that you can see the real one. Let me know whether you can see the video or not. I'm stopping my uh, slide here and I'm going to share the video with you. So you guys let me know whether you can see it or not. Go to my another account. I'm, I'm requesting to all of you, please go to my another account. Oh, so can you guys see the uh, font side of the computer guessing? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. All right. So here, this is the uh, real uh, computer casting you can see here. And this is the font side of the computer case. So as I already mentioned, the first point, this is basically what? Nothing but your? CD or DVD CD. drive. Right. This is basically what? DVD drive. Okay, my DVD one is drive. DVD drive. Okay, all right. So here you can see a button. Okay, Power by pressing button. this button, I can, I mean, pull out this disc. Okay, Sorry. disc plate. Okay, here I have a plate. If I press it, then it will pull out this plate. Plate. So, but as I do, as, uh, the, as this desktop not currently with the power, Okay, no power supply here, so that's why it is not working. Okay, but uh, if I have power and if I press here, then it will pull out this disk. Okay, and on that disk, I can uh, place a CD, CD disk or DVD disk over it. And then again, if I press it, then it will go back to, to its plate. And by using a optical head, okay, optical head, your, my computer will be able to understand what I have inside that disk. Uh, CD disk or DVD disk. So this is nothing but my DVD drive or CD drive. All right. Then here we have two ports. You can see USB here. ports. USB ports. Universal serial bus. 
I can connect my what we uh, like keyboard, uh, mouse, like different types of pen things. drive, keyboard, yeah. mouse, pen drive. Very okay. This type of uh, things I can attach here. Okay. Like suppose this is a USB cable. You can see here a small USB cable I have. So I can attach it here. Okay, like this. Okay, and I can attach my other other peripheral here. Okay, you can see. So you can use any of them. Okay, right. Then uh, we have a number of uh, ports. You can see this is audio in and audio output. output. Okay, audio in and audio output. I have here. You can see two audio in. And as I already mentioned, these ports are color coded. Can you see that? These ports are color coded. This is uh, if I uh, this pink or red. This is uh, you can say not actually pink. This is actually uh, kind of I mean okay. This is pink. Okay, this is not red. I can say that. Okay. Okay. Green. And this is actually green. All right. Okay. So here you can see uh, audio port. Okay. And uh, if I want, I can insert it here. Okay. If it is a speaker, if I want to connect the speaker with it. Okay. Uh, and if I want to connect my microphone, then I have to connect it in this point. All right. So here I have two ports. Uh, then uh, they mention about the power button. Power so button. Power button. Okay. If I press it, okay, then it will open my, start my, or boot my computer. Boot means nothing but start your computer. Okay. All right. So. Uh, these are the uh, things we have, common things we have, as well as you can see a uh, number. Uh, we have LED light here. Okay, can you see that? This is the LED bulb. This LED bulb basically indicates that my ports are working properly or not. So here I have also some LED light. Okay, under my uh, power button. Okay, if I open my computer, then automatically those power button give me signal that my computer has power now. All right. Then here you will get another switch. Okay, this is the restart button. This is the restart button. I can restart my computer. Okay, so uh, as well as some other things I have, like uh, if I want to install other uh, device, like my uh, uh, CD drive, I can use this bay as well. Can you see the, can you see the space here? Okay, this is the false port I have, I mean false cover I have. If I want to remove it, I can remove it, and I can install another uh, hardware, okay, like my, my uh, like my CD drive, okay, in this place. Am I clear to you? Yes, okay. yes, sir. And here are some other false uh, thing I have, like false cover I have. If I press it harder, then it will break, and then I can install another device like floppy disk. Okay, though we're not using the floppy disk with our computer nowadays, but still, this type of device we can install here. Okay. Am I clear to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the. Uh, you can see the. Fonts of the computer casing, and this basically this uh, computer casing manufactured by this company Gigabyte. So that's all about the form side of the computer case. All right. Uh, do you have any questions so far regarding the computer case, the form side of the computer case? No, sir. No, sir. Everything is clear to you. Yes, sir. How many of you have desktop? Do you have desktop, anyone? Yes, sir. I have. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to share my slide again. All right. So uh, now you can see the uh, backside picture of the computer case, isn't it? The backside picture of my computer case. Computer casting. Give me a moment. Right. Okay, so uh, what they're saying here, Sanjita, read it. What they're mentioning here. Uh, back of computer case. On the back of the computer case are connection ports that are made to fit specific devices. The arrangement of this varies from computer to computer, and many companies have their own special connectors uh, for specific devices. Some of the ports may be color coded to match a color on the device, which are help you determine which port is used with a particular device. All right, very good, very good. So now uh, you already have idea what what is actually uh, what we have in the backside of the computer case case. 
so they are basically mentioning we have number of connection ports okay, if i make it underline then you can see it so connection ports number of connection ports we have okay like uh, here we have uh, power cord port you can see here then here we have number of usb port again okay number of usb port here we have then we have ethernet port you can see here okay then here we have monitor port okay then sata port pata port okay serial port parallel port okay monitor port hdmi port we have here okay then uh, here we have uh, audio in audio out again okay so in this way we have number of ports we have all right uh, and by using this port we can connect different types of peripherals different types of peripherals you can connect to these ports uh, then they are mentioning that uh, it basically vary model to model for i mean in the back side of every computer casing you might not get same scenario there might be different scenario as well it basically vary model to model okay and you you're going to get some uh, uh, you're going to get some uh, port which are basically color coded so that by using that color by seeing that color you can understand which device you have to connect with this port all right so uh, let's see what we have in the back side of the computer casing uh, now you can see number of ports name given here first of all what power socket okay here you can see the picture of power socket so uh, basically we can uh, attach or we can connect our computer power socket three pin computer power socket with this uh, port okay then we have audio in and audio out port okay as we you already have idea what is audio in and what is audio out oh. isn't it in the phone yes, side of the computer case already we have this two port okay additional two port we have in the back side then ethernet port uh, Anyone know about uh, the use of this port? What is the use of this port? Port Ethernet port. Why we use this Ethernet port? Anyone? Any idea? No, no sir. No. All sir, right. maybe in, in desktop, why do we use port? Huh? Sir, why in desktop? Before there were some device to connect with the internet. Mm hmm. Okay, so basically, uh, to connect our desktop, even la in laptop we have this port. Okay, to connect our uh, desktop or laptop, okay, with com uh, with computer internet, okay, or internet, we need this Ethernet port. So we can basically insert here our broadband cable. We can okay. insert here our broadband cable, okay, broadband line. Okay, this is Ethernet port. Okay, that is the thing. So that's what they are mentioning. This port looks a uh, uh, sorry, this port looks a lot like the modem or telephone port, but it is slightly wider. You can use this port for networking and connecting to the internet. That means you can connect your computer with internet or you can connect your computer with other computer through this ethernet port. Basically we use uh, ethernet or sorry, broadband cable to connect our desktop or laptop with internet okay i'm going to show you no problem you will get a real view then usb port again we have number of usb port you already have idea about the usb port in the back side we have number of usb port as well then we have what uh, we have monitor port can you see the monitor port the, this one is the monitor port okay uh, so this is called uh, actually vga port this green one is called what v g a port okay and this port is called HDMI port. Okay, so uh, high definition multimedia interface. So if you want to connect your computer case, okay, with your computer monitor, on that time we use this VGA port. VGA port. Right. And if you want to connect your computer uh, casing with your uh, projector, think about the projector. Okay, computer uh, computer projector. On that time, you need this HDMI port. Okay, all right. You understand what is the main difference in, in between this VC and HDMI port? Yes, sir. All right. Then uh, serial port. This port is less common on today's computer. 
Okay, you can see the serial code. That means inside this code, we have number of pins we have. Okay, pins we have. Uh, basically, uh, we used this uh, port to connect our video cameras. Okay, old digital cameras or the video cameras. But nowadays we have whatever the digital cameras we have, they also USB port. They come with the USB port. Oh. That's why uh, we are not using this port anymore. Okay, this type of port we are not using anymore. Okay, uh, or if you are, if you want, you can connect your uh, TV card. Okay, with this type of port. Okay, but now it is also those TV card or other expansion card basically come with in USB, USB port. port. Okay, USB port. Okay, so that's why we are not using this serial port or parallel port you can see the parallel port picture of parallel port here this is the parallel port anymore okay that is the thing. instead of serial port or instead of parallel port we are basically using what usb port nowadays in parallel port we have number of holes you can see here and in serial port we have number of pins, pins. okay you can find out right then we have ps2 port okay personal system port we have personal system version 2 okay ports we have you can see these uh, ports are color coded okay and you, you are going to get uh, some symbol over over this uh, beside this port uh, like this one is to connect your computer mouse and this one is to connect your computer keyboard, keyboard. Okay? this one is purple this one is green all right okay so you can connect number of devices but again nowadays we are not using this PS2 port to connect our keyboard, uh, then connect our mouse, mouse. anymore. <coughs> Sorry, we are using basically what? We are using USB, USB port. USB port. Right. Nowadays, whatever the keyboard we have, whatever the mouse we have, all of them are basically USB, USB port. port. Isn't it? Comes with USB port. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, so these are the things we have in the back side. The last thing I'd like to show: expansion slot in the back side of the computer casing. You are going to get some expansion slot as well. So if you press on this false cover, this is the, these are the false cover you can see here, isn't it? Okay, if I press harder on this false cover, it will break and it will give you space to install your expansion card. Okay, some other devices with your motherboard. You can see if I press harder over this false cover, then it will break and it, it will get space like this, okay? And if you want, you can attach some other expansion card with your computer uh, computer uh, motherboard. All right, that is okay. Is it okay? What you have in the back of the computer casing? Yes, right sir. Here? Yes, right. sir. So again, uh, let me share another video so that you can ask the video. Let me know whether you can see the video or not. I'm going to show it to you. Give me a moment. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you the video of the, of the back side of the computer casing. Okay. Follow me another account so that you can see the back side. Can you guys see the back side of the computer casing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the uh, back side of my computer casing. You can see here, and I'm going to discuss about the ports one by one. So the first port, if you remember. What is the port? This is the port. What is the port? Sir, what power socket, sir. Uh, power socket. Okay. So here we can attach our <coughs> power port. So you can you have already have you already have idea about the power port, isn't it? Yes, sir. If you remember, this is three pin power port. Here you can find out three pins. Inside this port, inside this port, you, you are going to get three mm -hmm. pins. And here you will get three holes. So we can attach our computer power cord here. You can like this. Am I clear to you? And yes, uh, this side, in this side, uh, the opposite side, we have this pin. Okay. We can, we can insert this one in our well, socket or multi plug. Or multi plug, right. All socket or multi plug, right. 
is the first one. Then, uh, what is the port name? If you remember, audio in audio. No, 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 no. No, no, sir. Keyboard. This is mouse and keyboard. Uh, keyboard. Code. Right. What is the port name? Tell me. Sir, port name is. P S two. P S two. Okay. This is PS2 yes, port. Personal system version two. Okay, that is the thing. So can you can you guys see the uh, I mean uh, the icon or the symbol printed here? Yes, this yes, sir. yes, sir. This is keyboard, for keyboard, 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 and this is for this mouse. Is for mouse. That means this green. This is for mouse, and this purple color. This one is for keyboard. Keyboard. Okay. These are called PS2 port. Nowadays we are not using this port anymore. We are using USB ports. USB ports. Okay. What is the disadvantage? Uh, like inside the PS2, PS2 uh, computer keyboard, you will get number of pins. And when you insert, when you try to insert those port, okay, here, then there is a chance to break that pin. Okay. So that's why to avoid that hassle, nowadays we are using USB port instead of this PS2 port. All right. Then uh, what is the port name? This is the what is the port name? Serial port. Serial port. Serial port. Very good. This is the serial port. And what is this one? Monitor port. Parallel port. port. Parallel port. port. No, no, parallel no, no. Parallel port. port. This is serial. This is parallel port. In serial port, we have number of pins. In parallel port, we have number of holes. You can see here. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, these are the old port we basically used with our digital camera. But nowadays we are not using with our digital camera anymore. We are using them. Instead of these uh, ports, we are using uh, USB port. I USB think. port. Right. So then, uh, which port this one is? This one? Monitor port. Monitor port. Now this is in, uh, now you have idea. This is the monitor port. And you can see these ports are color coded. Okay. And yes, yes. Uh, you can see the same color, isn't it? Yes, sir. This is the, this is the monitor cable you can see here on my hand. Okay. This is the monitor cable we have. And uh, you understand why this one is color coded? So that any even any non technical person can understand which uh, cable i have to attach with these ports am i clear to you yes sir all right so let me show you how we can add this one you have to connect it like this okay you have to press it like this okay then here you will get two screw okay upside and the downside of the top upside of the downside of your cable and if you move it like this then it will be attached okay. with your computer, uh, with your computer casing yes. okay. permanently. Okay. Now, if you try to pull it out, okay, then you will not be able to pull it out because of this two screw. Okay. Okay. That is the thing. Here I have one screw. Here I have another screw. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In another another part. Okay. Another pole. We have another. Uh, I mean, a device like this, and we have to connect this one with our computer monitor. 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 Right. In the back side of the computer monitor, you will get same type of port. Okay, like this one. You have to connect that. You have to connect this part with that port. Am I clear to you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Right. Done. Then, uh, what is the port name? Tell me. One, two, three, four. What is the port name? So USB. USB port. Right. It's written over here, isn't it? USB port. All right. All right. Very good. Then, uh, what is the port name? Sir, Ethernet. Port. Ethernet. Port. Ethernet port. Okay. Right. Ethernet port. Let me show you an example of Ethernet cable. Can you see that? See this cable? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is called basically what? Ethernet, Ethernet cable. 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 Ethernet cable. By using this cable, we can connect our computer with broadband internet, internet. right? Internet, internet or uh, other device. All right. Okay. I, I, I can also connect this one with other device as well. And here uh, I can I have to insert like this. Okay. Okay. I have to insert my cable like this. Okay. That is the thing. Is it okay? Yes. yes sir. And if I want to. I want to, if I try to pull it out, then I will not be able to pull it out. Here is a, I mean, a lever. Okay, I have to press this yes, lever sir. like this. Then I have to pull it out. Okay, that is the thing. 
Okay. After inserting this cable or this jack, do not pull it out, pull it out like this. Okay. So what you have to do here, we have a lever. Okay. Uh, I think you can see. We have lever. to press it. All right. You have to press it. Then you have to pull it out. Pull it out. Is it clear to you? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. As well as in our uh, in some desktop, uh, we have this port. Oh, sorry. In in some laptop, we have this port as well. Okay. Nowadays, most of the laptop, uh, I we do not have this port. Okay. But in some laptop, we have this port. Okay. Even. Okay. Suppose uh, for an example, if I if I uh, show my laptop. In my laptop, uh, you're not going to get any, you're not going to get any port. Ethernet port. So what I have, I have here one HDMI port. Only I have an, I have HDMI one HDMI, HDMI port. No Ethernet port I have. Okay, that is the thing. All right. But uh, let me show you another example. Give me a moment. I'm going to share my video again. Uh, Okay, so uh, I would like to show you another <coughs> computer, another small computer I have. So can you see the computer? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So here you can see a uh, Ethernet port. Can you see the Ethernet port here? This side? Yes, sir. Yes, all right. Sir. So uh, by using this Ethernet port, okay, I can connect by using this Ethernet port. I can connect my uh, this port in this port. I can connect my current cable. That is the thing. All right. So in this way, I can connect my this small computer. Though it has uh, Wi-Fi capa capability, but still I can connect uh, this uh, Ethernet cable. cable here. And again, if I if you want to pull it out, you have to press this lever. Okay, here is a lever. You can see. You can find out. Okay, and another part. Okay, I can also connect with this computer casing. Right, computer casing, Ethernet port. Okay, right. So now, if I want to transfer data, okay, uh, without my uh, pen drive, I will be able to transfer data from one computer to another computer. computer. I can share resources from one computer to another computer. Is it clear to you? In this way, we also transfer or share data. In between two computers is it okay yes sir. all right okay all right now uh, the next component uh, next port i would like to uh, show you that is what is this so audio, audio in, in audio, audio out. out right so these two for audio out for a speaker i mean these two okay audio out okay and this one is for audio, audio in. in. Can you guys see the, uh, I mean, symbol? I mean, drawing here. Draw here. For micro this is for microphone, right. And these two for speaker. 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 And uh, next thing, what is this? What is this? So, expansion slot. Right, expansion slot. So, if I want to, I mean, uh, break it down, I need to basically press it. Okay, if I press it harder, then from these two parts, it will break down. Okay, you can see here. All right. And according to my wish, I can insert here or install here different types of device. Okay, like different types of expansion card. Okay, here. Is it okay? Okay, sir. All right. So also, I have some uh, thing like uh, you can see what is this? This is actually what? Nothing but your cooling fan. Cooling fan. fan. Okay. Then here, I also install another cooling fan here. Okay. Or it basically playing role as ventilation. Okay, ventilation. Okay. So whatever the uh, I mean uh, warm or hot air inside this computer casing, it will help you to pass. Okay, through this gap. Okay. Or you can install here another computer 
uh, cooling fan. All right. And here I have another thing. This is actually what power, power button. Okay, power switch or power button. You can say for my power supply unit. Okay. If now this one is off. Okay. And now this one is on. On. So if uh, if if I connect my computer casing with the power cord and if I supply the power, but this switch is off, then still your computer will be off because uh, we are basically uh, not my basically my uh, power supply unit is still not functional. Okay. I have to make it one, then I will be able to open or boot my computer. Is it okay? Yes, sir. All right. So this is the common view of a computer casing, the battery of the computer casing, but again, it might vary model to model. Okay. It might vary model to model, but these are the common things you are going to get in every computer casing. Okay. Any questions so far? No, sir. All right. All right. Very good. We do not have any question now. Okay. Uh, let me share my slide again. So these are the things we have in the back side of the computer case. So you have to remember these ports because during the Viva session, okay, I might ask you that, what is the name of the port? All right. Okay, sir. Okay, so before I mean move to my next slide, I would like to discuss about uh, your quiz test, your yes, first term examination, and your uh, what uh, class participation rules and regulation? Okay, these three things I would I would like to discuss before I move to my next point. Uh, so first of all, uh, first term examination. Okay, maybe uh, from your next week you are, you have to sit for your first term examination. Okay, so uh, we almost completed our second lecture. Okay. And in your first term examination, there will be three chapters. Chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. three. Am I clear to you? So yes, sir. these are the syllabus for your first term examination. You have to uh, complete three chapters. You have to go through three chapters. Chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. three. First chapter is basic concept of computer. Second chapter okay. is com basic hardware. And okay. third chapter, chapter is basic software. Okay. These are the three chapters you have to go through. Uh, and in your Viva, uh, sorry, in the first term examination, uh, there will be a 60% mark on your Viva and maybe 40% mark on your <coughs> what? Uh, written. Written, examination. Written, examination. written examination. Okay. So that's, a, that's why I'm telling during the Viva session, I might ask you this type of question. Okay. I, I would like to show you a picture. I would like to show you a hardware and you have to tell me that what is the name of that port? What is the name of that hardware? What is the name of that cable? All right. Yes, and sir. I can show you different types of monitor even. And you have to tell me that what type of monitor that one is. Is it CRT? Is it uh, <clears throat> LCD, LCD LED. LED or other? Well, okay, that is the thing. And I can show you also a picture. Okay. And by showing the picture, I can also ask you the same question. All right. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so, right. And uh, okay. The next point I would like to discuss. Okay. So, I'm I, before the first term examination, I'm going to uh, declare the schedule. When I'm going to take written examination, when I'm going to take your viva examination. All right. Okay, so, sir. For now, that's all about first term examination. Before the examination, again, I'm going to discuss about. Uh, different things like what will be the question pattern, what will be the mark distribution process, okay, how you're going to attend the examination, every detail, everything in details we're going to discuss about, okay, right. Then uh, the next point I will to discuss that is your uh, quiz test, okay. Uh, I basically mentioned in the previous uh, week that today I'm going to take your quiz test, all right. So today at uh, 7.30 p.m. I would like to test your, take your quiz test 7 
30 30 p.m. PM. Right. So 7.30 p.m. What you have to do, you have to enter into your Google Classroom. Okay, let sir. me share my slide. Uh, I mean, share, let me share my screen with you. <clears throat> okay, now my screen is visible to you, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. So here, uh, from here, I'm going to create an assignment. Okay, I'm going to create, not assignment, sorry. I'm going to create, create a quiz assignment. Okay, for you. <clears throat> so here you will get a quiz test link. So you have to press that link. Then you will get portion in front of you. You have to attend the examination from this Google Classroom. Is that okay? Yes, sir. You have to there fill up. will be option available to fill up the answer. Right, right. Or write down the answer. Right, oh. right. Okay. After uh, you have to complete the examination within the given time. Like I might give you maximum fifteen to twenty minutes. Within that time, you have to complete the examination. Suppose your time is fifteen minutes, then you have to complete the examination within fifteen minutes. Okay, that means uh, eleven forty-five. If you submit your answer after that. I'm not going to evaluate your uh, performance. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. All right. So remember 7.30. All right. And the last thing I will discuss that is uh, that about your class participation rules and regulation. I think you can see my uh, browser. I'm going to open a uh, slide. Okay. So here, you will get number of rules and regulation. Okay. Just a minute. Okay, give, uh, give me a few moments to make it adjust. Okay, it's better to copy and paste in another slide. Okay, give me a moment. So, uh, did you guys got this email from the university? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. So, do you guys check your email in a regular basis? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you have to make this habit. All right. Okay, all right, now I'm going to share the slide with you. Uh, now I think this one is visible to you, isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So uh, we have to maintain this one very carefully. Okay, so Mahin, what is the first one? Sir, the first one is enter the class, keeping your microphone switched off and switch it on when you want to talk and take permission of the teacher to talk. To explain what do you understand? Uh, when we will enter the class, the our microphone should be switched off and we 
switch it on when we want to talk something maybe it can be greeting or any question or anything or i have to ask permission for something only in that case in that case i will switch on or we will switch it on the microphone otherwise uh, in all time we will switch off our microphones all right is that clear to you everyone any doubt yes, about sir. it no sir no doubt okay. then uh, what is the second point carry on mind so keep your video on do not show your photo you should be visible in case your internet is weak and cannot support video for long seek permission of the teacher to switch off uh, after you have shown yourself for few minutes what do you understand okay so from now on we should have to keep our video on we will not uh, show our photo id Mm -hmm. and in case our internet connection is weak we will tell you or another teachers that our internet connection is poor and we will seek permission from that teacher and after a few minutes obviously for a few minutes i have to show my we have to show our faces and only in that case the internet is weak and our teacher is given us permission then we can switch off the camera after a few minutes of showing ourselves all right so i would like to add some point uh, regarding this one so uh, according to this rules you have to open your uh, camera all the time but uh, as uh, the problem is uh, so, i mean many of us using basically mobile data so uh, to minimize the use of mobile data uh, you can uh, turn off your uh, video okay video camera but when you ask me any question okay on that time you have to open your video camera or during the class time certainly i might tell you that please open your video camera uh, to i mean to make it confirm that whether you are attending the class in a proper manner or not okay i saw that i mean many of my student basically attend the class okay uh, but uh, not with proper gesture okay not with proper manner they are laying on the bed and they are attending the class okay so what do you think it will be i mean fruitful session for him or her that no, is sir. No, sir. isn't it i mean uh, it basically reflect your seriousness about the class okay to avoid this uh, situation basically varsity going to establish this rules and we have to obey that this one okay that is the thing is that okay to everyone yes sir yes sir okay right so from the next class please uh, be careful about it okay Okay, so then uh, third third point, Mahin, carry on. Your name and ID should be visible below below your picture. For the point I told you earlier, okay, about you, this one, you have to rename. Name. You have to rename your ID by using your sorry, rename your uh, Zoom ID by using your university ID and name. Okay. Okay. If so. it became very long, then you can use your preferable short name. Okay. Like uh, Mahin can write down his, uh, sorry, her uh, ID and her name, short name. Okay, that is the thing. Okay, sir. Okay, in this way. So I'm requesting all of you, please change your ID. Okay, uh, that means your Zoom ID. Okay, the name displaying here, please change it. Okay. Right. Okay, sir. Then the fourth point. Place your camera in a way that no visitor will be seen in the background. All right. Okay. okay. While we are taking any classes, we mm -hmm. should place our camera in a position that if there might any other person in the room, it can happen. But mm -hmm. he or she may, cannot be seen in our camera mm -hmm. in the background. Mm -hmm. Right. So suppose uh, you guys can see my background. I have a wall. I, I have a wall, isn't it? In my back. Yes, sir. So nobody is going to pass over there. Okay. So it will not. I mean, distracted you. You guys. Isn't it? If someone uh, come backside, okay. Uh, suppose my mom, okay. She basically come and she basically trying to talk with me during my class time, okay. Or some other person can come, isn't it? So it will basically hamper your concentration, okay. So same thing for yourself. Be careful about it, okay. Then the next point, Mahin. You should ask questions and participate in class discussion as you did in class. When we are attending our physical classes earlier, uh, mm -hmm. we participate 
in a, we may ask questions we may answer mm. so we have to do the same in this virtual class as well we right. have to participate in discussion and ask questions right okay right so uh, though it is virtual class but we, we are going to we, are, we would like to make it i mean as interactive as we can okay as much interactive as we can so for that reason okay they are basically telling that uh, as a student you are going to ask me question when i i will ask you question you have to give the answer that means you have to response okay during the class time okay sometimes what happen uh, some students they are basically uh, just uh, opening their uh, i mean camera not on camera just just join the class they basically uh, doing their other words okay it happen okay so that's why i am telling okay that's the university also very much concerned about this one do not do like this do not do this type of thing okay right then the next one you should not leave the class classroom without permission of the class teacher uh, right. as in our physical classes we do not leave the classroom without teach our teacher's permission also here we should not leave the classroom without our teacher's permission but as it is a it is based on internet sometimes it may happen for the weak network connection but mm. we have to know that we don't won't do it uh, on our purpose we won't do it without any legal reason right. so we have to be careful about that right all right so my explain this point very clearly okay i think you all of you are very clear like uh, in the physical class if you want to go outside or if you want to i mean pick your phone mobile phone okay mobile call on that time you have to you have to seek my permission that is the manner isn't it so yes. in the uh, virtual class you have to follow the same procedure if you want to go even if, if you want to go washroom or if you have any emergency if you want, if you need to pick any call then take my permission then do it okay other is not and as my mention if you i mean somehow uh, if you disconnected okay uh, because of electricity problem or because of uh, like poor internet connection okay you have to notify me as soon as possible during the class time do not call me just send me a text sir i have this problem okay that is the thing uh, so that i can keep some record all right yes sir so i uh, believe that all of you going to follow this rules and regulation from the next class very strictly okay sir all right yes sir okay thank you all right uh, so uh, we have only 5 minutes sir left. we have 5 minute left for today only 5 minutes left so uh, today i am not going to discuss about any component what we have in the computer casting okay in our next class i am going to uh, discuss about those component as well as i am going to show you those component basically those i mean which hardware basically we have in the computer casting that's all right okay so that's all about today's class okay mm, so but don't forget your uh, quiz test time again i am mentioning it is 7 7:30 pm 7:30 pm 